DJ Academics is at war with New York. Nah, it's a hub. It's a hub for music, but New York is definitely not trash, bro. Trash. Def what up? You took out another reaction slash breakdown video. If you haven't saw, DJ Academics did another interview with a New York drill rapper, Little Mabu. You ever heard about Little Mabu? He is the genius that is behind most marketing of New York. He had a podcast with DJ Academics. And as you can see, got a plus one, maybe a plus two. Let's see. Man himself. I can tell him. Tracking on me. Good. Seem in peaceful off the rip, a good hug, good long hug. You can feel the vibrations, feel the energy from the other person that you're hugging. Come on. Yeah. All right, bet. Sit there. What's good? How you doing, man? This nigga look like Gunner, yo. I ain't gonna lie to you. Hey. Oh, wait a minute. Like an ambush. How you doing, man? Like, is crazy. That's <laughs> like <laughs> Old white man? Oh, shit, it's getting real mob ties, real mafioso. Ah. A little sneak this, yeah. That's not no sneak this. Look, he looks popular. Oh, all right, all right. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> Damn, you brought the goon squad out today. Yeah, can't I brought my friends, bro. He he set up DJ Academics. Is DJ Academics getting ambushed? Why is that Negro Mike behind DJ Academics looking at his hat like, hmm, is that a fitted? Is that a snapback? He's looking at his hood like, hmm, I wonder if I could just strangle him with it. He want to strangle DJ Academics off the rip before the interview even starts. Yeah, you don't got seats. Yeah, we need seats. Man, I try to treat this. Oh, this big eye dreaded. Big eye dreaded with his. That, it's one of them Nike Tech fits I heard. That's what them sliders be in. Black Nike Tech fit. He probably got on Black Air Force Ones. He's all on demon activity. It's like the high school bleachers, dog. What's your thing to say? We don't got, we don't got. I thought you guys just have three chairs in here. Yeah. I mean, we kind of did or do. He, he got a mask on, dog in the back. Purple. He's not even dark skinned. He purple behind uh, uh, his pops. How he get that black? He purple. You got one dude with a COVID face mask. It's 2024. Why he got a bubble coat on? Is it cold? Is it cold? Nah, we, we got two chairs in here. No, 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 that's all. All right, we're going to throw it out. Listen, now. the aesthetic y'all got to stand. Y'all can't nah, be all fine. sitting. You feel me? All right. Let's get it. All right, perfect. Everybody everybody who's on camera is on camera? Or are we waiting for other people? Should we bring more people? Yeah. More people? Oh, it's not enough bullets. It's not enough bullets. You gotta, you gotta, you. This is a studio takeover. If you, we ain't stay, fuck it. Pull up, y'all. Pull up. Pull up. This ain't the gas station. This ain't the corner store. This ain't, this ain't the, this ain't the park. Don't pull up. Don't pull up. Nigga, you brought the whole block here, nigga. Why did a big eye? He got on bro, tech fit off the orange juice. He's healthy and a demon, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. NYC, this this is one of the scariest groups I've ever seen in my life, bro. I don't know where they coming from. Dog in the background can teleport. I know that purple nigga can teleport. Them niggas at after eight thirty p.m. He has legal superpowers. He hitting you from this side. Phew, into the darkness. Bitch, you gone. You can't see him. They got super niggas in NYC. Yo, bro. <laughs> I live in New York right now, so when I come back... Oh, you, you gotta saying? pop out with the homies. You just gotta spend some quality time with them. Mm. Quality time with... Them. You have a football team. You are leading a football team, and your father's just happy. <laughs> spend some quality time. <laughs> They throwing head. I like that head. I got into my Naruto bag. Let's just let's just slide by that. Or or, or, they, or put them over here or something. Yo, put them on X side. Yeah, yeah, just have them off the Pelly Pelly coat in the. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, buddy came in off the glove or tins the the. Gloverton's in the Pelly Pale. Yeah, he actually ended the interview right here. I'm going home.
I'm going home. Come here. Yeah. My man want a bar stool so bad. I ain't gonna lie. You probably sit on that little stool if you really want it. That's a, that's a stair, my G. Ain't <laughs> 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 You can say you can sit on that stool, a stump. That's not no stump. That's a stair. These New York is is different. They're different. <laughs> like this? Yeah, y'all can follow me. Go on that floor right at the moment, I'm like, all right, that's everybody. I still see like five more out there. Damn. Yeah, that brought a sprinter out? A charter bus. A cheese boy. Yellow big boy. That's what we call them over here. Yellow big boys. Cheese bus. You got 40 niggas with you. You know that? Why they surround and act like that? He put the most ruthless people behind act. Look at them over. He got Nike sweats and a big fur hoodie coat. You hear me? You hear me? If you ever see him find a bear in the jungle, help the bear with buddy. He's one hand on Coca-Cola, other hand on liquor. He's getting faded. Where you normally stay now? You don't stay in New York? I'm in Atlanta right now. Atlanta? Yeah, for school. Yeah, that's about where I think most musicians go. New York is trash, right? Nah, it's a hub. It's a hub for music, but New York is definitely not trash, bro. Trash. Definitely it's, not trash. It's like, it, like once you... Look at how them New York niggas is behind the act once he said that New York is trash. Call the police. You, you let them in. You, you, you're too far already. You already let them behind you. You are not safe. You might can reach for your... And try to... You might get two shots off before they swarm you. Dude. It's beating you senseless. It's trash. It's I ain't gonna lie, Jersey trash too. Yeah, we in Jersey, Jersey right now. <laughs> yeah, Jersey trash too. Little... Jersey trash. I ain't gonna lie. I want to go to like... You got to go like Atlanta, Miami. That's, that's where all the list spots are at this point. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, I just cannot stop looking at the look at all the New Yorkians, the Yorkians. They looking at it, they act like boy. You know what we are do to you? You know, they worth my mother, worth my mother. I got my blade on me, worth my mother. You say, say, hey, my boo, my boo. Say, say the word, say the word, say the word. I'll, I'll book fifty them right now, my boo. Say the word, my boo. What's your favorite city? New York City for sure. New York City? Hell yeah, hometown. Damn. Yeah, wait till start. Wait till like three more years. Am I nah. More niggas. Why more niggas? Same question. You're going to be like Miami, dog. No, I'm happy I don't live live here right now, but yeah. I love coming back here. Home, hometown, home base. Yeah, my probably playground. a little homesick, right? Yeah, it's my playground. I have to come back here sometime. I ain't gonna lie. I never even thought you had this many black friends. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I'm Marvel give off Joker vibes, bro. He give off like a like 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 I strangle you even though I got the blade on me. If I got the opportunity, I'm just gonna and we gonna put feet on you. Marvel might seem be a little sociopathical. Hell, a surprise. <laughs> surprise. Surprise. Oh shit. Oh, yeah, I got it. Get an angle. I got to save all my questions for the for, for once. I just realized Buddy teleported back. He back there again. Purple, bro. Behind Pops. He back. Or was he never gone? It, it's, it's the hoodie. It's the hoodie with the face inside the hoodie. It gives it gives lock character. I don't even really see bro facial features. I'm confused. Do I gotta wait until 15 minutes of the episode to unlock, bro? You start rolling. We ain't start rolling yet. I can interview you in the meantime. Oh, what you wanna ask? Go ahead. How'd you get into the podcast world, bro? I, I was in college and um, I was doing a DJ thing at that time, and then I started doing radio, and I just always been talking shit. So like, I used to talk shit about everybody on campus, and then I start putting it online. They kicked my ass off radio. Tw they they wasn't they trying to have me, but. It was like the right time, right place. Oh. Like, at this point, I must count out all the brown skins with dreads. Two, four, six, eight. Right at that moment, 
Niggas mm. stopped looking at the, in, the the radio and they started looking at the internet. So like I was mm. uploading these things online mm. and I started catching a little steam. So once they kicked me off the radio the second time, I'm, like, I'm not about to come back. It's like getting fired from like Amazon and keep trying to reapply. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, bro, I got it. So I started doing that like in around 2020. If y'all want to catch the whole interview, go to DJ Academics YouTube, Lil Mabu interview. But DJ Academics might be at war with New York. Look at all the New Yorkies. They look so confused. I'm like, why we ain't put 50 in them? Why we ain't give them the word to my mother? Why we ain't put the bodega jelly on him? Why we ain't, why we ain't chop cheese this nigga? I don't know. Like, comment, and subscribe. Till the next video. I'm out. Peace.